Hey guys, it's Rick. I'm back again with a movie haul. It's a small haul. I haven't been buying as much movies. I've actually been downgrading a lot of stuff to make room for more video games. And I've been remodeling my room. Uh, you can kind of see behind me. It used to be gray. Now it's white. But uh, I've got more plan changes. It, it's just going to take time. And then I'll give up a game and movie room tour. But I wanted to go through what I did get this month. Everything came from Kino Video. We'll start with one. I, the only movie I got last month and it ended up being free was The Perfect Weapon. One of my favorite action films. It's got a slip cover on it. Uh, this is a... has an audio commentary, deleted scenes, uh, interview with Jeff, Jeff Speakman, which is the star here, and theatrical trailer. Uh, the deleted scenes are actually add a, a little bit more story to one of the characters in the background. And so I did find that to be very enjoyable. And overall, it's just a great flick. All right, moving on. We go to the oldest picture in the set. This is F.W. Murnau's The Last Laugh. My buddy Ian has talked about this for a long time, being a really good film, and I wanted to give it a shot. I love silent films. Let's see what we got here. It's got a new musical score. Ooh. Excuse me. The original musical score and audio commentary, Last Laugh, The Making Of, which is a 40 minute documentary, and a bonus DVD of the unrestored export version with uh, music by Timothy Brock from the Olympia Chamber Orchestra. So. That one. Next is a John Carradine film, which I've seen bits and pieces of, but I've never seen the whole film that I'm aware of. This is called Bluebeard, considered to be one of his greatest works. Uh, I love old horror actors. This includes two audio commentaries. It's the 80th anniversary edition of this, so this should be a good one. It was directed by Edgar G. Omer, which is the subject of the next one I got right here. This uh, is a, his a sci-fi collection. Which includes the following films. The Man from Planet X, Beyond the Time Barrier, and The Amazing Transparent Man. Now, I have seen The Man from Planet X, and I actually sold my copy because of this one. Because I get two more films for the bonus. Tons of audio commentaries. you got audio commentary from The Man from Planet X with, with Tom Weaver, David Schechter, Dr. Dr. Robert J. Kiss, the filmmaker Joe Dante, audio commentary, Men from the X with the films, Gary Don Rhodes, and Irene Omer Cypress, Edgar G. Omer's daughter. That's cool. Uh, another audio commentary with Richard Harlan Smith, who's a really good uh, commentator. I've listened to a lot of his work. Audio commentary on, for Beyond the Time Barrier by film historian Tom Weaver, David. Schechter and Gary Don Rhodes, and an audio commentary for The Amazing Transparent Man with David DeVille and theatrical trailers. So, three films, all, all short, relatively short films. Let's see, did they get them all on one disc? Yeah, uh, short enough to put on one disc. And then the last film I picked up was called The Road to Ruin, one of never seen 4K restoration of the 1934 cult classic, plus that's the original silent version. This one also has an audio commentary on The Road to Ruin, on the silent and the uh, 34 original. And ironically, the lead star in the silent is also the star in the new one, which this is, I think number 15, and they're, yep, number 15 in their series. They got another one coming out, which has one of my all-time favorite exploitation films called The Cocoon Fiends. I can't wait to get that one added to the set. And I don't know if they'll do more, but I kind of hope they do. There's a lot of great exploitation films that have never gotten any type of really good release. So to see them going back and restoring some of these old classic films is, is a blessing. But that's all my movie pickups for this month. I 
I don't know. I don't think I'll be getting any more. I might get one more order from Kino. It just depends how it goes. Right now, my focus is rebuilding my my office slash man cave, getting it, getting new shelving in place, and uh, expanding on my game room, which I pretty much ran out of space on the game stuff that I do have. I just so right now that's the main objective is to focus on that but that's all i got guys take care and go watch a movie